to all judges. First and Second Appellate Division, Superior Court, New York City, Court of Appeals, Albany, New York, U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. I write demanding a rehearing of my worse than lowest deadly gangster police state criminal conviction, which appeal case was in your farce, deadly gangster, ghetto communist, gangster, computer, God-manipulated gangster court. Below, I state some of the many reasons for said rehearing, plus all of my evidence the Attorney General chicanerously forwarded to the Bar Association Grievance Committee for prosecution of felon, gangster, mafiotic, negroidic, the black Frank. Gelada, a gangster judge, therefore unprosecutable. The blackish, menial, negroidic in appearance and demeanor, felon, vicious, parroting puppet, ex-district attorney Nassau County, with no private law experience, detested by all factions, in spite of this, solely because of his many-year secret gangsterization and crucifixion of me, this negroidic, low, mafionic, deadly, black Frank Gelada was then immediately and unprecedentedly and repeatedly, rapidly promoted in spite of tremendous opposition to the present position of second highest state judgeship solely through gangster computer god manipulation as additional evidence during the last week of my within mentioned month long worse than a farce nazi court criminal trial in nassau county court 1958 where dwarfed it felon gangster parroting puppet rectum lapper sodomist judge william sullivan's ball of fat felon slot wife she as planned sat in the front row repeatedly stripping her overclothes and completely pulling up her dress and slip and pulling aside her old-fashioned pig in order to display her anus, her conch, she repeatedly gesticulated and whispered, I'll give it to you to suck. Finish him. Her husband's dwarfed felon gangster parroting puppet rectum lapper sodomist Judge William Sullivan, flushed faced in repeated open sodomistic displays, stuck out his tongue, wiggling it, chuckling to her. You hangman rope gangster felon parroting puppet scum on top playboys can watch my Frankenstein eyesight television playback of this felonious lowly sodomistic display by the felon sodomist Judge William Sullivan and his lowly felon slut wife during my trial in Nassau County Court. After my worse than Nazi court criminal conviction crucifixion, for years in poverty I suffered hopeless, jobless, character assassination and isolation in this low, deadly nigger town. I was the repeat target victim of this gangster government's gangsterization and undetectable extermination attempts to shut me up forever with my secrets. Then, in December 14th, the 17th, 1965, I attempted to escape this worse mongrel gangster communist country to return to the Slovenic Polish land of my forefathers. In Instead, in a gangster staged parroting puppet deadly conspiracy, I was flown from Kennedy New York Airport at night to a small distant St. Lawrence River estuary, snowbound small airport, under the guise that I was in Warsaw, Poland. Immediately, many, many things proved this to me, including the two big white asbestos shingled hangars with the large Braniff Airways signs on their sidewalls, in addition to the many blurted statements I solicited from the many CIA deadly gangsters, the assassins of me, the many, many parroting puppets all around me. I demanded an immediate immediate flight back to Kennedy New York Airport. Instead, I was held captive all night later in chains. I refused both all food and requests I go to sleep. Then CIA police gangsters pretending to be Polish police with no identification beat me bloodily. Later, while my return trip 707 Boeing jet airliner was being serviced for my return trip, I quickly walked into the airplane and saw a CIA gangster with a small electric hairdryer type blower pumping deadly poison nerve gas smoke into secret compartments under the ashtray in the arms of the chairs where later I was ordered to sit in the airplane full of CIA underlings, passengers, my assassins, who giggled as they watched me dragged in chains by the airplane by the gangster CIA police gangsters. These deadly gangster CIA passengers, they pressed the frontal panel of the ashtrays in the seat arms to release the deadly poison nerve gas smoke. Indubitably, all of the others deadly CIA underling gangsters aboard this staged return flight, they all had taken the top secret poison nerve gas antidote pill, immuning them from the deadly poison nerve gas smoke. Deadly poison nerve gas smoke was sprayed at me from cigars, cigarettes, and even from ballpoint pens, also from the wig of a woman sitting next to me. Even the Swiss cheese type ice cubes were evaporating into poison nerve gas smoke in all the free drinks. I got up and went to the rear of the airplane by the rear exit door with a large push-up handle. My Frankenstein brain thoughts broadcasting radio disclosed my intentions immediately the loudspeaker screamed that the flight was over and that our airplane was already preparing to land at Kennedy New York Airport you hangman rope sneak gangster playboy scum on top know these facts are true not only from taking part in such undetectable exterminations but also you chicanerous demented felon parroting puppet gangsters can watch my Frankenstein eyesight television playback of all these horrible terrifying deadly events when I returned home Joseph I deck my only brother and deadly felon murderer and assassin spy agent against me for this gangster government he beat me repeatedly cursing me that I was not exterminated by all of the poison nerve gas 
gas smoke, and that I did the impossible in that I kept awake for three days and refused all food in order to prevent my sneak extermination. In accordance with the completely gangster computer god concocted and manipulated statutory laws, one of your gangster court's requisite duties is to automatically rehear my said appeal case because it has been brought to your attention, you hangman rope gangsters, that my entire life was destroyed by you co-conspirators through the gangster government perjured and fabricated criminal conviction of me in order to fulfill the demands of your communist god, the worldwide mad deadly gangster computer god. You deadly parroting puppet felon gangsters already know that I have been and am an innocent primary victim and target for destruction and extermination because I am a menace to your gangster computer god and that I am worse than defenseless without the gangster protection and control of the gangster Frankenstein earphone radio. I stand alone against you demented deadly gangster parroting puppets namely this worst gangster communist computer god controlled gangster government before I'm exterminated by you hangman rope underlings I demand a reply October 21st 1976 Francis E. Deck Esquire Addendum. I personally filed my maximum conviction appeal brief in 1961 with the chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. The chief clerk, he knew me. He sneeringly grabbed my thick, strong, homemade appeal brief, and then he attempted to rip it up in desperation. The chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court ripped off the cover of my appeal brief. Miraculously, I stopped him without a deadly scene to me. Then, filing my ripped appeal brief, the felon, another co-conspirator with the nine hangman rope gangster judges, the chief clerk, in cowardly fear, in staccato speech and gesticulation, he confessed to me, Mr. Deck, everyone is in on this one against you, even the Attorney General, namely Bobby Kennedy, younger than his very young brother Jack Kennedy, Kennedy then president, the Kennedy Playboys. Little fact, Bobby was a felon, lowest, chicanerous, untouchable, parroting puppet gangster against worse than defenseless, Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire. My quick questioning and the co-conspiring felon chief clerk explained and gave me a new and special notice form for only Mr. Francis E. Deck Esquire, which had to be mailed to the opposition, the deadly gangster district attorney, in order to prevent the dismissal of my appeal case. Leaving quickly, I noticed in the room and hall several approaching uniformed and plainclothes beweaponed police. Later, Joseph I. Deck, my only brother, deadly villain, murderer, and secret assassin, spy agent against me for this gangster government, cursed me, stating that I tricked the chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court and that I got out of that death trap fast. So brainwashed from birth by the computer god threshold brainwash radio parroting puppet gangster slave, if you believe in anything, forget kneeling to abide by the high holy law long enough to say one word of pray for me, for your only hope for a future. Footnote, remember, it is gangster U.S. Supreme Court written high holy law. I'll give it to you to suck. Finish him.